Hello, I'm Philip Rice from St Giles Church in Desborough and today I've reached the letter O in my alphabet of favourite hymns and worship songs. Now there are lots of hymns beginning with the letter O and I'm sure you've probably got your own favourite. Most of the uh, hymns that begin with O begin with the word O, like O for a thousand tongues to sing or O little town of Bethlehem. I'm not going to do O little town of Bethlehem as uh, we're all trying to get over Christmas and uh, maybe some of you are even looking forward to the next one. But uh, um, I've decided to go with a, a hymn I came across in the New Methodist Hymn Book uh, a, couple of a couple of years ago. The hymn book is called Singing the Faith. This is the current Methodist Hymn Book. It was published in 2011. And as soon as I got my hands on a copy, I, 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 ever since I've had one, I've from time to time sat down and flicked through looking what new hymns and songs I could find. And actually there are quite a, quite a few that I've not found in any other book. But I remember one day flicking through and I noticed this particular hymn and I started to play uh, through the tune just to see what it was about. I thought that was rather nice and it wasn't uh, I didn't notice immediately but in fact it turns out not to be a modern hymn at all but quite an old one just set to this new tune and in fact it's a Charles Wesley hymn open Lord my inward ear and just a new tune that's been written by Ian Howarth the original 18th century tune by uh, Samuel Arnold, which is set as the first tune in this book, uh, I thought was extremely uninspiring, which is probably why we never did get to sing Wesley's rather inspiring words. Open, Lord, my inward ear, and bid my heart rejoice. Bid my quiet spirit hear your comfortable voice. Never let the world win never in the whirlwind found, or where earthquakes rock the place, still and silent is the sound, the whisper of your grace. Now, Reverend Hannah has spoken recently quite a lot about prayer and about the need to be quiet and still as we listen to God. From the world of sin and noise I hurry uh, and hurry I withdraw, for the small and inward voice I wait with humble awe. Silent am I now and still. Dare not in your presence move. To my waiting soul reveal the secrets of your love. Beautiful words and uh, I don't intend to recite all the verses to you now. Uh, you wait till, uh, you, uh, till we sing it in, in a moment. Uh, but he goes on to speak uh, of some bet some of the benefits of drawing near to God and it ends uh, Lord my time is in your hand my soul to you convert you make me you can make me understand though I am slow of heart yours in whom I live and move yours the work your name divine you are wisdom power and love and all you are is mine it's a beautiful hymn, beautiful words by Charles Wesley, and I hope you enjoy our rendition of it. Charles Wesley's Open Lord, My Inward Ear, to the tune Effingham by Ian Howarth. Mm -hmm. 